So what are Tesla stock predictions for this quarterly earning report? What's going on, guys? It's Ricky, and I see a bunch of people making videos about Tesla predictions, giving their opinion. At the end of the day, we all know that anyone can have any opinion. It doesn't mean that that's how the actual stock is going to actually react. So I wanted to make this video. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. Hopefully under four minutes. Hope you learned something new. And if you like this style of video, please consider dropping a thumbs up. The first thing that I want to share with you is when does Tesla report earnings? It reports earnings this Wednesday, uh, July 19th, if I'm not mistaken, after the market closes. The really great thing about this is that there's two main things that I like to focus on when a company reports earnings. The actual report itself, which is after uh, it's released after the market closes. And then the second part is the actual guidance call. During this guidance call is sometimes, in my opinion, let me know down in the comment section, more important than the actual earnings report. The earnings report is based off of previous earnings and what is currently expected for Tesla to be reporting. But the guidance call is what is to come for up and coming quarters, right? Future forecasts. That tends to be more valuable for future investors. If anything is said during the guidance call that is optimistic and or a little negative, then again, it could send a stock nose diving even if the actual report itself was better than expected. Something to take into consideration. Let's go ahead and just jump into the screen real quickly. What is the market's expectation for Tesla in this quarterly earning report? On July 19th, the earnings per share is expected to be 82 cents per share. The revenue is expected to be $24.67 billion. Now again, it's gonna be the initial reporting, right? So once the report is released based off of market's expectation, we'll determine the initial jump up or jump down. But one thing that I wanna get a little bit deeper in is the idea of although revenue might be greater than expected, here's one thing to look out for. Uh, one of the key takeaways of this is that Tesla has recently undergone a lot of price cuts. And because of those price cuts for their vehicles, it created a lot of demand because of not just the price cuts, but also the rebates, the tax rebates that are now available for these EV vehicles. So because of those price cuts, it did create more demand, but are they less profitable? This is the concern that Tesla has as they report this quarterly earnings. One of the things that is going to be a positive takeaway is that Tesla just delivered a record number of vehicles in the second quarter. This was just released. And again, something to take into consideration where of course the price cuts and the rebates created more demand, but will it be enough to create their net profits to still be profitable? Or a big concern that a lot of people have is that but this is hurting Tesla's profitability with margin forecast to hit multi-year lows. Again, Wall Street is optimistic about the second half and expect deliveries to keep growing for margins to start recovering. So again, as long as their guidance goes, hey, we see demand rising, we see and expect demand to continue to rise, then that should kind of ease the maybe hit that we might take when it comes down to lower profitability in this quarterly earnings report. Now, Tesla shares have risen 2.5 fold this year alone, but then some signs of momentum are waning, uh, whatever that means. Uh, the overall idea is that Tesla went from lows of 101 to highs as of right now of 290. Tesla is at 52 week highs just before it begins to report earnings. So not only does, in my opinion, have to beat expectation, but it has to exceed expectation, especially with their quarterly earning reports. So only time will tell. But I wanted to make sure that you guys understood when it was reported, what time, and also that it comes in two different sets, the actual report itself and the guidance call. But I also wanted you to understand the market's expectation for these quarterly earning reports. If you have any questions beyond this point, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord or via Instagram and that's the first or third link in the description down below. And again, I do want to remind you, I do trade live every single morning. I'd love to see you watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow. And if you want to check that out to tune on in, it's going to be the second link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.